Hey everybody, today I want to talk about this Arsenal SGL21 AK variant in 7.62 by 39. Wow, I had a grand old time testing this baby. I was really impressed by the accuracy. I was impressed by the trigger. And here I am shooting at 50 yards just to kind of see, you know, how I'm doing. And I really enjoyed it. The only concern I had was that the buttstock was kind of slippery being just metal. And I'm going to put some friction tape on it right away. And then I think it's going to be perfect. But I did pretty decent even with that. I got about a hand size group at 50 yards, which I know I could shrink if I had a little bit of friction on that buttstock. And I was going semi-rapid. I was not taking my time. So to be honest, I felt very happy with that. I also tried a little bit scoped with a POSP scope. And the glass was amazing, and the AK was super accurate. I was getting like MOA groups, but the cheek weld is just too high for my liking. And I also tried putting a cheek piece on it, which it helped a lot, but I still didn't like how it was so far off the bore axis. So I think irons are the way to go when you're talking AKs. And I just love it. I love the ergonomics of the AK. Some people don't like how the mag rocks in. I do. Some people don't like the safety. I do. I like how it's broad muscle movements. It's not like fine muscle movements or fine motor skills. And for me, it's just very ergonomic. Uh, I've used some ARs too, and to be honest, I kind of prefer the AK a little bit, even though ARs are a little bit faster uh, to acquire. And I really love the 762 by 39 round. I did take the muzzle brake off though. This came with an AK-74 style muzzle brake. And it was just too much concussion for my liking. So right now what you see there is just a thread protector to keep the threads undamaged. But I actually ended up taking the thread protector off as well because it just added more weight in the worst possible location. And I don't really care about my threads that much anyway. And I don't really thrash on my rifle anyway. So I just took this thing off and it helps make it a little bit handier. I also keep the cleaning rod out usually. I keep it in my backpack. Although I do have the cleaning kit in the buttstock of the rifle, and I love how Arsenal doesn't forget to include that little trap door thing in back for your cleaning kit. Very authentic, and it also helps the handling characteristics, keeps the back of the rifle, you know, weighted down so that the front doesn't feel as heavy. And everything is great. The mag lockup is very tight, which I love. There is very little mag wobble, and most AKs have a little... But the only thing you have to watch out for is some variants of mag I found are a little too wide. And they actually won't fit. So you have to test your mags in advance. I could file it open slightly wider, but I'm not going to because I have a lot of mags that do fit. And they fit really well and secure and don't wobble. The safety, I didn't like at first. But actually, once I got used to it, I have no problem with it at all. Uh, at first, I just went empty chamber. But once I learned how to work the safety... I go ahead and use the safety now with a full chamber, and it's great. You just have to learn how to manipulate it using your whole hand, not just a finger. The trigger was a really pleasant surprise. Arsenal's trigger is their own proprietary trigger, and it's about four pounds double stage. And I wouldn't change a thing about it. It's not too light, not too heavy, not too long, not too short. The reset is a little bit weak, but I actually prefer it that way because I would not want them to add an extra half pound just to improve the reset. It's perfect the way it is. And I was impressed with how light and crisp it was. Uh, cleaning this thing, obviously it's an AK. If you don't know how to clean an AK, you're probably very new to firearms. But you just push this button in, take the dust cover off, and, off, and then there's the, uh, the internals. I'm not going to bother that because... There's like a thousand videos showing you how to clean an AK. Overall, I was so impressed with it. I had a lot of fun. The recoil was a little more than I expected, but still plenty manageable. And when I put a little bit of friction tape on the end, that's going to probably help cushion it slightly. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Arsenal makes some great AKs, and I'm going to go and test it some more once I get some friction tape on it.